Let's rediscover America the way it should be. Let's bring all those critical minerals that the world needs to transition, bring it back to the Western world. And that's exactly what we did with graphics. Thank you, Arno from Cortomic, for taking Arnes and my question. Now, my question is regarding Ludwig's Bay, because specifically the company has uh, recently come into a partnership with Graphax, which is, of course, an animaterial producer. But the company previously published plans to produce animaterial themselves in Ludwig's Bay in Namibia. Are the plans for Ludwig's Bay still on track? I get asked this question quite a lot. You know, one thing that I can tell you about mining companies that it's, it's a vote or die. Um, you always have to be that's said of everybody else you constantly have to evolve otherwise people start you know getting bored with what you're doing uh, you don't want to be the mining company that sits out there and stops coming up with new plants and uh, what do you have you know probably one of the most desired properties in terms of the Lat Bay property in the Ritz Bay um, it sits right on the right on the berth right in the harbor we bought that because we saw in a period in time that graphite mining, mining in general, to go from mining to added value manufacturing is a very critical component to optimize, optimize your cash flows. Now, I'm not here to just build mines. Um, I've got a lot better things to do with my life than run a mining company that is focused on delivering $1,300 product. That I would have otherwise gone run a bunch of uranium mines or gold mines. What I saw is the vision create a transparent supply chain from source to end market. And for me, I'm here today to make sure that that plan becomes, becomes a reality. We continuously evolve our business over time. So we did sign a contract with graphics because it became so critical in this world to have a U.S. presence with a very, very, very seriously sub uh, strapped supply chain issue coming up on the horizon. 20 years ago, we had rediscovering China. Today, it's rediscovering America. It's a great transition between the two. They had dominated the world of commodities for 20 years. And eventually, the West woke up and realized you know, we put ourselves into a materials crunch because we just kept selling it to China. So they had such a rapidly growing economy that you know, there was a really no alternative. Now, today, let's come back to the US. Let's rediscover America the way it should be. Let's bring all those critical minerals that the, world's, the world needs to transition, bring it back to the Western world. And that's exactly what we did with graphics. So for Ludred's Bay, don't worry, we're still going to use it. It's just, uh, you know, as a company, you kind of got to transition in baby steps. Graphix has real-life mid-tier processing capabilities and experience. We have real-life mining experience. Let's transition through and make the relationship work in the U.S. And where else ain't going nowhere? And we're going to be around for a very long time. You know, again, it's just a matter of being 10, 10 years ahead or 10 steps ahead. Find a, quite a few surprises in the horizon on how we're going to monetize our graphite out of that. Um, but uh, as a Namibian, I can tell you there will be a great deal of added value manufacturing in Ludwig's Bay. That city needs our input. It needs money to come into that city more than anything else. We're going to make sure we do that.